Good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on December 22nd, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to another alignment here. We are observing some kin tides right now as we have a new moon approaching. A little retrograde earth between the sun and the moon. And it does create high tides, but it also creates immense pressure and electromagnetic energy around our planet. So all through today, there was a lot of activity, earthquakes, and as well as an explosion, the Krakatoa volcano has erupted again. 423 eruptions recorded. You can see here in this article, 423 eruptions were recorded. Thick gray to black smoke, 200 to 1500 meters above the peak. So after the high wave attack, residents in Anya returned to home because there was a tsunami wave that came with this large Krakatoa eruption. Apparently, I'm also watching a couple other articles and channels that are saying the seafloor actually fell out the side of Krakatoa. So I can imagine that, yes, would create a tsunami wave, but already they're reporting up to 20 people have perished through this disastrous tsunami and Krakatoa volcano eruption. Pretty crazy when a one of the largest volcanoes in the world can cause a tsunami from an eruption. Tourists are not allowed to approach the crater within two meter radius, or sorry, two kilometer radius of the crater. Very dangerous, dangerous situation in Indonesia right now, as there have been many, many volcanic eruptions over the past few weeks, and they are set to increase during all of these planetary lineup alignments. Look into a couple of my past videos. There's been an earthquake and volcanic warning right up till Christmas. So here's another article here about the tsunami. There are videos coming out on YouTube all over the place and across global news. Some pretty scary footage coming out of Indonesia. Thaw of seawater. Stay aware and prepared, folks, because these disastrous events are happening all across the planet. And it, there doesn't seem to be a country that is being spared. If Just look at all the high winds and heavy snow and rain event in B.C., at Washington, over the past few days. Those are going to get worse as time goes by. But you can see here, from satellite imagery... This volcanic eruption was highly visible from space. Just looking at satellite imagery from NOAA and NASA. Some time-lapse footage. You can see that large pink. So that's the legend of how high those cloud ashes are. The, the ash clouds are. And each day you see uh, those clouds form. Now that, that's not volcanic eruptions as well. Those are uh, daytime heating. Those aren't actual eruptions. They're probably heat coming from volcanoes, but that's a daily evaporation. But this is the last two days. So that is a very large ash cloud. And it seems all across Indonesia and Malaysia and Japan, There was a lot of ash cloud and there was a lot of sulfur dioxide in our atmosphere. There's a reason why the United Nations are trying to help and control climate change, control our atmosphere. But I think these are all cycles and Earth is trying to balance itself out right now. God bless you all for 
being here today. God bless you for watching. Please share with your friends and family across the world. We have to stay aware and prepared and embark on this huge planetary change together. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.